time there was a young girl named Sama who lived in a big house. She would have anything she asked for, she only had to say the word and her parents would give her anything. Even though she would have whatever she wanted, she felt empty inside. So one day she found our creation, Tutokonta. This helped her her to fill the void in her heart. With Tutokonta, she would give all her values, money and time to others. We want to help the people in need and we think that one of the most important aspects of human beings is the ability to share and care about others. But in today's society, we have realized that this value has lost importance in comparison with past society. We want to reduce the amount of people in need, or at least give them a hand in their lives. With Tutokonda, you can not just help others by giving them money, but you can also help to reform shelters, that make clothes or toys, and a lot more. No matter where you are or where your economic situation is, there will always be a way to help others. Tutokonda was created by a group of five girls, Mercedes Calvar, Bernardita Elamo, Patricia Yebra, Ana Martinez, and Adriana Williams. Each of us has a different role in this project. Mercedes is the general manager. Patricia is the business manager, Adriana is the programming manager, Ana is the marketing manager, and Bernardita is the communications manager. You know, social media is the best way to communicate quickly and efficiently nowadays, so we'll mainly focus our attention on the biggest media platforms like each other. We will post everything from our weekly developments to different projects we came up with. To get our app to millions of people, we're going to put advertisers on Facebook and Twitter. In the beginning, we would have to ask for a bank loan for all the expenses, which we think approximately be 300 per month. Later on, we would gain money by directing 80% of donations to the actual cause, and the other 20% would go to making our company better. Another thing we will do is put ads on our app which will benefit our income in comparison with the beginning, but because at the start we are not going to rent an office, we are going to set the money aside for when we have to buy one. Thanks to the results from the survey we created, we see that many people are interested in taking part on our project. So we think that with their help, we can develop this idea and make it reach its full potential. As you can see, our logo is made up of five hands, which represents the five pages of Tutokon. You may have noticed that all of them are connected to each other and they have all characteristic colors. We have a percent hope because that it was, we want to give the people we are helping. It doesn't matter if you are living on the streets, hope is the last thing you lose. The white represents peace. One of our main goals is not only to help, but to transmit peace while we work. The blue one represents liberty, which is this color because we want people to help with this project voluntary, because they want to help others, not because they feel obligated to do it. Pink represents kindness. We want people to be nice and to, and to sympathize with everyone, even if it's someone who one may have different opinions from us, because it's out of their comfort zone. And last but not least, the yellow hand represents happiness. There are many associations that have come before us with the same goal, like for example, Doctors Without Borders. This foundation already has a lot of followers, and they are working all around the world. Since Doctors Without Borders already focuses on offering medical help in remote places, we want to help in a different way. With Tutokonda, you, you can help without needing a specific degree, because we present different types of assistances. In the future, we look forward to improving our app. First of all, we will try to translate our app to different languages so we can reach out to more people around the world. We can, we can also make new projects and services easier and more accessible for everyone. We would like to thank our mentor, Ms. Cristina Melendez, because thanks to her, we have been able to overcome obstacles. The Tech Innovation team for giving us this amazing opportunity to help others, because with this project, we have learned a lot about programming and other skills. And we have also learned the importance of teamwork, which made us aware of the necessity to help people in need.